Okay, so now that you have familiarized yourself with the Parallels Power Panel, it's time for us to move forward to install the Plask Control Panel, where you can actually manage your websites, add domain names, add email accounts, databases, and all the itsy bitsy tasks to actually run your websites. So to do that, from your Parallels Power Panel, click on the Control Panels and click Install and proceed by clicking this. Now as you can see, information the Plask installation has been scheduled, but it is actually running right at this moment so you want to click on the details link here to see what's going on there so as you can see the system is installing the Plask control panel which should only take a few minutes so let's wait until the whole process completed you can actually see the complete um, icon here once it is completed. So I'm gonna pause the recording for a few minutes until the whole process is done to save some time. There as you can see the whole installation process has been completed. Now I'm going to close this and click on the control panels icon again. Voila! There you go. Now it's changed to manage link. Now I'm going to show you on how you can manage your Plask control panel on a separate video. But before we do that, I'm going to show you that you need to update your Plask license once the installation is complete. So let's click here and log into Plask. There we go. Now, before we can do anything, we need to update our Plask configuration details. So the, f the full host name, I'm going to change this to Plask VPS Guides Tutorial, for example, dot com my default IP address your provider should be assigning the default IP here and depending on how much IP you get you can choose from here so I'm going to use the default one here and I'm going to use this as the shared IP address and the password I'm going to change to the one we use before and click OK. So that's going to update the whole initial configuration. Now we're going to fill up this whole data and I'm going to pause and I'm going to fill it up first so we won't waste time. I'm going to uncheck this and I'm going to uncheck this too. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to use this. I would like to create a default client account. And I'm going to click OK. So everything is updated now. But you need to update your um, license key now you need to get your own license key which you can ask from your VPS provider so you can set up many clients and many domain names under your Plask control panel because without updating your license key you can only set up a few number of domains and a few number of clients there has some restrictions so 
click on server preferences here here is all the preferences of your plus control panel I don't think you need to change anything here so just click OK now to update your plus license click server on the left here and click license management here you can see your actual current license is just a temporary license so the key number is just plus with all the zero numbers and you can only set up one client's number of domains just one and so forth now you need to update your license file right so get your new license key the ones with the actual um, limitations provided by your VPS provider and you can upload your key here just browse and choose your new license key and update it once you updated your license file you can set up more domain names more client accounts and more resources depending the license given by your provider now that's all you need to do to initially install plus control panel now to do the whole management of your plus control panel I'm going to cover that all on a separate video guide to discuss each functionality you can do to start hosting your websites, emails, um, databases and everything through your Plask control panel. So thank you for watching this video tutorial and I'll see you on the next video guide.